Determine the measure of angle QPR, QPR. We're trying to find this angle over here. Now what we see here is a base of 10 from here to here, height of six, and a hypotenuse of 18 for this triangle over here. We have a right angle triangle here, so we're gonna use basic trig, Sokatoa. Sine of some angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of some angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of some angle is opposite over adjacent. So what we have here is some angle theta, and we have opposite over adjacent, which is gonna be tan of theta. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which is 10 over six. So if we take the inverse tan of both sides, tan inverse of tan theta is equals to tan inverse of 10 over six. So we, we're allowed to take the inverse trig of both sides. So in this case, we're taking the inverse tan such that the inverse of a trig function cancels out with the, the regular trig function. So we end up with theta. Theta is equals to tan inverse of 10 over six. Now it's very important that you are in degree mode. Do not be in radian mode, otherwise all your answers would be wrong. Degree mode on your calculator. So we work it out here. We have second tan inverse, that's a blue font here, tan inverse of 10 over six, 10 divided by six bracket is equals to 59 degrees. So we have theta. Theta is approximately equals to 59.036 degrees. All right. Now let's focus on this triangle here. Let's try to solve for x. Now we have adjacent and opposite. Uh, sorry, we have adjacent and the hypotenuse, which is adjacent hypotenuse with the cosine of x. So now we're gonna focus on the cosine of x is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is the shorter side, which is six over the hypotenuse, which is 18. So we're allowed to take the inverse trig of both sides. We have the cosine inverse of cosine of x is equals to the cosine inverse of six over 18. The inverse trig functions cancel out with the regular trig function, and we can actually solve for x if we type in this into the calculator. So we'll do that. So what we have here is the second cosine, which is the cosine inverse of six divided by 18, enter. 70 degrees. So if I add these two angles, because I wanna solve for x plus theta, so I have this plus, the answer plus, and let me just go back up to this number here, 59 degrees, press enter. So I get the final answer of 129.57 degrees. And I, when I look at the available choices, 130 degrees is the closest answer. So what we have here is answer D is correct.